we are trying another way, which is putting our concerns on, on these lap laps and matching. And our hope is that they see and understand uh, what we feel and what we are concerned about. Big plating thing through me, plow mama, like put him out him. All or something, all value, all something, all same, all life, all all man. Same plenty life, he lose penis, lo here, and me play no like him, but plenty more he lose. Now me play worry, lo this plow, all nara plow, all something, and justice. Justice, you know, come up, lo here. Plenty all something, all life, all money, bagger up. Plenty all 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 something, all worry, lo me play, you know, go through, lo right way, ah, he got all all something, all man, or lo stretim o lo warita sol disla ol mani stretim ol problems blong ol outside em mi pla ol mama ino hama mas longen so justice ino come up good ol se mi suppose lo come up nara pla something em freedom freedom blong mi pla lo plenty something freedom lo tok tok freedom lo walk about na about freedom long holim ol lo tu blong mi pla freedom long mi pla lo holim ol kain kain something mi play like holim ol se before mi pla sabe holim It was a tremendous hurt in their hearts over lost loved ones, the traumatic experiences that families underwent and were left to face, the killing of innocent men, women and children, and the fact that people are no longer listening to their cries for help and for peace that got this group of women to come together and create an awareness march at last year's Buka show. Women weaving Bougainville together is what this silent march is all about. For seven years it has been the women and children who have had to suffer most and suffer quietly for fear that they would be killed if they were to speak their minds. The main emphasis of the march is on the value of life. Whether it be the killing of men with guns, or women aborting their children for fear of bringing them up in a society where they will be subjected to pain and suffering. The aim is also to reach out to those who can do something and bring justice to each individual. The people want to be able to talk freely, walk freely and hold their religion. They want to be able to reunite families and unite the people of North Solomon. But most importantly, these women want peace for the island of Bougainville. Look, 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 so me play believers and by PC must come up past time inside Lomi Pla 1-1. The Buka show brought many people from around Buka Island and some even as far as from central Bougainville and Buin to come together and be happy. But they cannot be totally happy because they are still in the middle of the Bougainville crisis. Mary, you got this big plow warrior, all same. 
Me play like looking new plus organ build. You got good plus social structure, good plus economic structure, good plus political structure, good plus social services, na good plus looks of long environment, or same boost na sol warab long yumi. Me play like him by all of this plus structure, he help him yumi. Long come up man marry through. He got number, na he can find him good plus in down, long all geta. It was generally a peaceful atmosphere, but the presence of a heavy armed security was visible. Early Thursday morning on the 14th of December, in the middle of the show, we came across this story. Alphonse was one of three suspects from the Hahon area who were brought by the village chiefs for questioning by the military police in Buka. Alphonse, after being given first aid, returned back to the military prison and, according to official sources, was released. His two companions, however, still remain missing. With the atmosphere of unity and peace, the Booker Show went on. These pictures were taken in 1988. Huge electricity towers were blast off their foundations in a spate of bitter action by the Panguna Landowners Association against the government. They were in direct retaliation to inaction by the government to their demands for better protection of the environment, huge back payments of profits from Panguna Mine, and a massive 10 billion kina compensation. Seen as deliberate acts of sabotaging mine operations and the economy, the government of then Prime Minister Rabin Amaliu sent in security forces to guard mine installations. <laughs> Joseph Kabui was the Premier of North Solomon's provincial government at the time. He and several other local politicians were beaten up by police and the police and workers from other parts of Papua New Guinea came under attack from the BRA. Joseph Kabui soon realized he was caught between two forces, the lawful authority of the government and the increasing resentment and jungle authority of the BRA. I think it's, it's uh, good for men to, to uh, look at any problem or any issue or any crisis um, affecting him 
to look at it with a positive outlook. And uh, it's true that um, so many attempts you know, have been made. So many attempts, uh, governments have put into it, village leaders, church leaders have put into the into the whole crisis. And uh, um, there can be a temptation or tendency to to um, say that that's it. You know, there's no more, no more answer to the problem. So I believe that um, we still can make some sort of a breakthrough. From the start of the conflict, the man who rose to the top command of the Panguna landowner struggle, Francis Ona, never reappeared again in public after he quit the employ of the Bougainville Copper Limited, first as an engineer, then as operator of the 70-ton dump truck. The other man who became a leading figure in the struggle by the Panguna landowners was Sam Kawona. With distinguished Australian military training to his credit, and his growing sympathy for his people, he quit the PNG Defence Force and disappeared into the hills. He assembled an illegal military outfit and called it the Bougainville Revolutionary Army, the BRA. He masterminded the felling of the power pylons. He single-handedly took on the might of the security forces with a keen following and support of the young people. For obvious reasons such as inferior weapons and the lack of logistical support, Kawona ruled out open warfare. He let the troops face him and his army in their own backyard, in the jungles. When communication between Waigani and Panguna failed between Prime Minister Namaliu and Sam Kawona, the government imposed a total blockade around Bougainville. Before that happened, a team of United Nations observers from Canada, Vanuatu and New Zealand were allowed into Bougainville to observe the ceasefire and find out if peace talks could resume with the help of a third neutral party. In January 1991, the member for East Sea Peak, Sir Michael Somare, led a delegation from Port Mosby to the waters of Kieta aboard the New Zealand ship HMNZ Endeavour. Joseph Kabui led the team from the BRA and the Bougainville interim government. <laughs> Pais Winti was installed as Prime Minister after the elections in 1992 on a party platform of solving the Bougainville problem. He appointed Michael Ogio as Minister Responsible to deal with the Bougainville conflict. Their solution was simply to send back troops onto Bougainville and restore government control, as well demanded the unconditional surrender of the BRA. Sir Julius went to the Honiara Peace Talks three days after he was voted as new Prime Minister. The BRA commander, Sam Kaona, and his wife, Josie, made it to Honiara, dodging security forces through swamps and unfriendly territories. Come no me no here. No Solomon Islands, no meeting you, see? Me no come no here is a sign of surrender. I'm here for nothing more than to see peace, a peace settlement in the world. Not for justice, but for long time. Under Sir Julius Chen as Prime Minister, Papua New Guinea took the biggest step, the engagement of a Pacific peacekeeping force in Narawa. But the intended members of the BRA did not come to the party. The BRA, the military arm, and the Bougainville interim government, its political umbrella, have been difficult, sticking to their extreme agendas. All is not lost, though, the Prime Minister once said of the conflict, Bougainville should be approached with a new spirit that will lead to a new deal for Bougainville that will create a new Bougainville. I want to define all of those terms and, and Bougainville transitional government as a definition for all of them. It is with that concern and the fact that the conflict has gone for seven years that the Premier spearheaded new peace moves. Mr. Miriam, a lawyer come politician, is a man of his own, a deep thinker who is not easily persuaded. As a key figure in the Bougainville transitional government, 
The Premier feels he's up against a rock and a hard place in trying to find a solution. The BRA and BIG want total autonomy on the one side, a proposal unacceptable by the PNG government on the other. We want, first of all, to solve this crisis in an effective way, in a beneficially lasting way. And in order to do that, we want to have a structure that is already being planned in Bougainville and to put through that structure, political structure, administrative structure, which will basically touch at the village where the man, woman and a child is. Life is easy at the two villages at Pora and Island. People live from what they catch on the reefs, smoke it, sell it in the market at Kesa, and take home cacao and other vegetables. People live here happily. They have their school here, eight posts when they are sick, and their church. We caught up with them when they were preparing themselves for their appearance on MTV's Christmas special, I'm Nobody's Child. But even on this peaceful spot of the North Solomon, someone will still mourn for somebody. And only 20 miles in the opposite direction, towards the southwest of Buka, is Saposa Island. Including the islands around Saposa, there is originally a population just below 1,000. People here always depend on what they catch from the sea and their gardens and markets on the flats northwest of the mainland of Bougainville. Originally, they had only one church there, the United Church. But on Saturday morning, the 6th of January, we met a Catholic community celebrating the Feast of the Three Kings in the United Church building. The supposed islanders welcomed the refugees from the Sorokin, Hahon and even Nagavitz care centers who had to move out from their places in the middle of last year after BRA soldiers had burned the district office at Sorokin. So now Saposa's population has tripled.
Ini pelalu si mas penis, na peni matu wara, wara kai kai na. Apa sen mi pelau lain long melin mi pelai, sampai go na bot long garden na. Enjoy mi pelai ye tunggu kain sampai musen. Go was was long wara peni pis. You like go where you can go. Ha long ya mi pelau semol karabus. Mi pelau no na go na kira long ya na. Go away. At the Saposa Care Center, Maria tells of her and her family's struggle to survive after leaving her previous home in Maratona when the hospital she worked for was burnt down by the BRA soldiers early one morning. I was thinking that I was going to go to the hospital and I was going to go to the hospital and I was going to go to the hospital. One time all people from me na walk one time all. Na tu ori bin pa ya mausik na ino katap o se mi mi ken walk through me na start na ari di mall. People blong ah tasol miles na mi mi no ama mas long ori all bus mani kam na bakarapi na bakarapi mausik na pa ya ma trap la mausik. Maria, her husband James, and their children led to the Saposa Care Centre for safety. Here they tried to live a normal village life, but it is never easy. There are roughly about five families living under the one canvas for shelter. Not enough food to go around for everyone at times, and not enough clothing for men, women and children. Yes, in the care centre, my father is at the side of the house. How about you go along mainland? Yeah. Yes, mi pula bingo, mi pula bingo down kisin kai kai, or security post or toki mi pula yes mi pula bingo down because or ino bina pulong hari bimi pula one thing kai kai because ino bingat kai kai long or sem long and yes ati or sexy kai kai long hap na ino bingat na or sari mi pula bingo down go kisin kai kai na mi pula go kisin plenty kai kai bro mi pula bagarap nothing yeah mi pula short long kai kai long yata short kai kai long garden and more more yet. Or kain 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 yumi liking, emi pagarap nati rohap sampai sting or pineapple fruit na bawat emu kompakara. Judy, Maria's daughter, was forced to leave school, but she had something to say about the matter also. Rohap ni bin liking school, empas school ligo, na biarai kam, kodi rau sini pula, pagorong bus empas tap rohap, emi sabet toki mo papa mama bong. I must put him in play at long school. Must keep him no good. I miss that long school. I miss like him straight school. Nobody like him school. I like him school because I like looking more narapela hap. Go like him more narapela something. I finish in school, but you like come up. Then you finish in school, you like come up mess. Because me like a living more man. Yes. This is like I'm sick. Yeah, I've been picked. Pek pek wara, pek pek bulut. No long, mi pula kam kai kai mor kai kai ayo good pula. Or wara, mi pula dering, mi pula nasa dering di sakan wara long. Mi pula kam na. 
all she keep been planted, she keep been come up long. Na tu emi hat long me pla laga, emi sabe osem sabos me pla la ki sim paya bot me pla sa go long long way straight long hap na walk sim paya bot long. No long place emi ken ki sim ta so long hap na walk about one time emi me pull na emi walk ki sim long hap na karin me ramke. Na long side long kai kai tu me pla kam all planty man meri all walk long hangere. All mangi all say hangere na kara kara in about. So all me plan was I mean plan to simka kaya wana give him more. There have been care centers established in the areas of South Bougainville, Central Bougainville, the northeast and the northwest of Bougainville, and in the Buka district. There is an approximate total of thirty-five thousand people living in the care centers around Bougainville. And up to date, this amount has not yet changed. With the curfew imposed on them, their lives become almost impossible. This is the most beautiful spot of Buka Island, the Gogohe Cliffs, Gogohe Beach. Unlike the nearby villages, the Gogohe church and the school escaped the destruction. Well, during the crisis, we were blessed with just we had some people here that had the place organized. We had what we call the resistance. Huh? But people will bear their own scars from the times of the BRA Dominion and the landing of the Papua New Guinea Defense Force. Just a few minutes' walk from the Gogohe church is the grave of Paulus Harepa. His widow will never forget these days. I worry too long. Now I say, I worry too. You pray, ask him. I say, I cry. Now I say, now I say, no next story long. Suppose I'm story long, and I'm not cry that sorry. Paulus Harepa used to be in the army, but left to be with his family. He was accused by an unknown source that he was responsible for hiding army equipment. It was in the early months of 1993 that the BRA soldiers raided villages until they finally found him. Paulus, his family and several other villagers were taken and imprisoned by the BRA soldiers. The conditions were appalling and oftentimes they were not able to get food. In time, the prisoners were released, except Paulus, who was held for further questioning. So let me been talking me talk. She got to me and I talk. Suppose only no straight him, all this fella talk talk below me long here, by me go long, only kissing me go long pangona now. Let me talk, now you go make him an angel long pangona. Only like straight him all talk talk ya. Only talk me, hide him all something belong all ham. You only give him give me. Me too, pale karai no. Be a na long Saturday. Me pale no sabe no. Only kiss him any go no. Long panguna. Na glory come na long abe no na. Salim talk ta so long. All man even sana blow road. No, only talk. Go talk him, Mrs. Harapa. Man brung in, only kiss him and me go finish long panguna. Me walk long car, I know. You go. Let me go stop long up. Me worry. You walk long car, I know. 
na tayo malis toktok lang ni itay pinis mi wokim now mi wokim ino pinis pinis ng mariba mi stapit Palos was taken to CY by the BRA soldiers and was continuously questioned. He was finally found to be innocent. Palos was able to return home to his family in Gogahe with the help of some friendly villagers who had given enough money to keep him going until he reached home. Unfortunately, he was ambushed along the way, killed and buried in the bushes. Paulus's body was dug up by residents of the CY village and later sent to his wife for a proper burial. People on CY or even Hamas do it because the man in what wrong on and we finishing Karabus Brongem. And this is one member of family, and we him him good. Now we are going to have to say that 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 People, all the people from Siwa are not being responsible for long life of the man. Because. I am now 1992, only Salem, this la, boon blong brata blong me come long pillars. All big man yet blong Siwa, all good pla line, all Christian line, all even come one time boon blong brata blong me. Come bring him good long place blong me pla. That's all. They were coming back happy with some biscuits from the security forces who had just landed near Gogahe when they were encountered by some BRA men who said to them, it is France's owner's command that you do not eat soldiers' biscuits. And he forced them to eat stones. As we travel along the northeast highway of Book Island, we hear more stories about burned villages, prisoners being kept in the toilet pits, and at bay, 16 young men being tied up and burned alive. And on the road near Buka Airport, a whole family, including children, were shot dead on their return from the garden. In November 1990, women started mobilizing and traveled from village to village around Bougainville. Food and clothing were given to the people by the small group of women who made a big effort to reach each care center. They were very outspoken during the Arawa Peace Conference. Freedom belong all. Mama, na olgeta, man Mary belong Bougainville. He must come back. Plenty all picking in me. Only no kissim, good plus school. Only no kissim, marasim. Plenty all young play, I die penis. But this play, I mean, give him big play heavy. Long, you me all bogging Williams. Long six play, long play here. M E, long play to mass. Meeting long today. 
He must find him through Sampla Road. Long find him peace. Nabel, you see. You may all want to kill like stuff yet, not fight, not fight, you go more yet, all same. And question me, blow Mary, like asking me, blow man. Or picking in the blow me, play yet, all mama. Me play all Mary, love, whole of Bougainville. Me play no like through by this love crisis, he must go on. Me play look in this love peace conference, and me chance, chance through blow you me now, long can put him head one time. Agree that peace he must start. Emi depend lo you me all get a one one person. All Mary feel him enough, Emi enough now lo this black crisis. Fight him must not can go on. All get a mama ya you look him missing down lo side, na long side. All get a one one he got experience belong him yet lo this black crisis. He got karai belong him yet. Na mi kam sana pia mi try make him all get a Mary lo no Solomon. Kusati feel him no go through lo this black crisis. Mi pla ol mama lom not Solomons. Mi pla like him good plus in down. Bel good, you may call him peace, na bel easy. He must stop na melo you may all get a. Bel easy lo ting ting, bel easy lo heart blow you, na bel easy lo body blow you in general. Or same now, not today, Lord, this black face conference, you miss that him all talk talk, blow you me. Me pla all Mary. Me pla no come lo negotiate a solemn peace. Me pla demanding. Me pla demanding that you me must got peace. You may even stop. Even women from the BRA-controlled areas spoke in support. We caught up with Mrs. Josie Kauna and Scully Miriori in Honiara during the signing of the Honiara Peace Agreement. Movement all Mary Long control areas where all army staff long and all taking. Then we plateau on Mary where all BRA controlling and we play supporting. Long also me me because all Ika's right where all you can express only free, yeah. That's all also me play is Tablo Bush. Me play no got way by me play can express him this pla. Um, right where me play like in peace, Long Island, Lord, you me. So, and me play support him all, make him take him this pla more. Long up where me play is Tablo, and I think and me play support him. Now, talking about sufferings, pain, when someone is being killed, chopped into pieces. There's so much pain, Long Island. Am it too much? Suffering and too am too much. We women cannot stand that anymore. That's too much. Now this black me play like in peace, and we must come up. Time somebody is killed, what do you expect? Well, we do want them or a bikini blong in. And too much too for a woman to look after a child, even Climbing hundred mountains, lo move further inland, lo move further into the jungle, lo move further into the caves. It is a very difficult task for a woman, especially if a man belong and has been killed. It's a difficult situation. But many women will be silent, will be afraid to talk. Silently, they will be carrying the burden of living in the time of the crisis, without their husbands who were either killed or who ran away into hiding, or for being a pretty single girl having no power to say no to someone who holds a gun and wants to make love to her. The research conducted in Account to Help Them shows clearly who is responsible. I 
about him, if you go out, go out and not a flat. Or you talk out, the scene go inside. This is Nova Village, located a few kilometers from Buka Town. It is Friday morning, January the 5th, 1996. People gathered for their special mass celebrated by Father Michael on the graduation day for the Conflict Resolution Seminar. I, this fly, I mean, hard through. Now, some of the time, me find him, uh, some fly only don't pray at two, or one-sided. Now, or one-sided, or not by side, and, or pray on one side at all. Now, some of the time, we've been talking about, hey, God, and like into the all of the man, Mary, the Conflict Resolution Seminar are conducted by specially trained people who are sponsored by the Foundation for Law, Order and Justice. I think I am law work long conflict resolution because people let be understand him all. People people let be look so heavy long all. Number is have long solve me long place. I think one people away long solve me peace long bogey will and through long. Henry conducted many seminars around Bougainville Island and even in the Simbu province. Rosalind Ragu. Because me yet, me yet, long round, I got a lot of people in the coast. I'm looking back on the place where me, I got a lot of problems to stop where all money didn't have solved him. So I don't know how to solve him. I don't know how to solve him. No solving this plan. I mean, believe this is a conflict resolution. And we've been having all the participants, but we got Save, and we're starting this law, all heavy long place, and we're coming one belly long place to be here. Although the conflict resolution or healing memory seminars are very popular, they are only a small step towards peace and reconciliation. What is needed more so is to disarm the whole island of Bougainville, both BRA and the resistant fighters. But until this is done, more blood will be shed and more mothers and children will mourn. Although many attempts were made to negotiate peace, the fights have continued, even after there was a compromise. The question now, as it has been previously, is will there ever be peace and unity for the people of Bougainville? And this is what the women have come together to find out and in time to achieve.